Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Pat Ian, here in Beijing. As you can see behind me, the Dakosa or the CCTV Tower, otherwise known as the Big Pants. I wonder why. You also have the Zoom Tower actually above here. But I'm actually in the CBD district. The weather is beautiful, the sky is blue. It's a little bit hot, but not humid hot, so it's not that sweaty. So, I've heard. so for that reason, I've came out. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm in currently the China World Mall, which I'll share with you in a second. But I'm going to go somewhere else, a few different places in Beijing. If you want to see what this area is like in Beijing, stick with me. If not, pop onto my channel and see a few other videos about Beijing. As I said, me, Ian here, China World Mall. Some of the locals here want to take a photograph. Say hello. Uh, hello, hello. Yay. Blue sky, yeah, yeah, yeah. very hot. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Cool. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. So what I just shared with you there was the China World Mall and it's a great mall, it's always quite busy. Um, what you did see though was a quiet mall. Please bear in mind it's early morning, it's about half past 10, 11 o'clock when I was in the mall. So there's not a lot of people about, it's like any mall or anywhere in the world, it's quite quiet. In the evening it's busy so please bear, in, bear that in mind if you leave comments below and ask me why is it so quiet, is the China economy collapsing? No, no and no. Where I am now is a small park area in between where I was, China World Mall, and the area near the Zoom and the CCTV Tower to go to another mall. But this is a nice little park in between that walk, which is about a 10 minute walk. Nice little park here just to grab a little bit of a drink or something. This is usually full of people just um, taking some time during a lunch break. Um, it's quiet now, obviously it's not lunch break yet, but when it is, a lot of people come down out of the offices and sit around here and, and just get some, some air. So this is what this area is, CBD, Central Business District in Beijing. This is the shopping mall called The Place. It's not the best mall at the moment because after the COVID period, a lot of the stores closed down and the third floor is all closed altogether. But it is becoming to get a little bit more popular now in the summer. There's a lot going on here in this area and also best to visit in the evening because they have the, the big video ceiling there that plays um, video content and then booming audio. So it's quite a nice place to come and see but it's um, not at its full potential these days. I will say though, the restaurants in the basement are pretty popular, fantastic restaurants with a great um, selection of food. My favorite fish restaurant is in the basement there. It's amazing, they serve this fantastic fish with a gong bao ji ding on top, which is like sweet and sour chicken. Anyway, I'm gonna go somewhere else. So not far away from the place shopping mall, you have this shopping mall, which is one of my favourites in Beijing. It's called the Green Park View shopping mall, but it's more like an art gallery. So when you, when you walk around, there's all sorts of art and um, fantastic, unusual artefacts to look at and so on. So it's a pretty high-end mall. I recommend you visit if you are in Beijing.
So it's quite hot now. They're getting closer to midday. You see all the lunch has been delivered there to the office area. They just lie outside and they're safe. No one steals them. I'm not sure if that would be the case. It was some places in the in the west. Anyway, um, I'm down in the Retan area. Down this is the embassy area near Retan Park. I'm going to go to Retan Park, have a walk through, and then maybe another part of the city. It depends. No idea what I'm doing today. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Mm. Ice cream. Lunch time. Come on. Anyway, this is Retan Park. Hmm. Situated in the Embassy District. It's a beautiful little park with a nice little lake. Excuse me. And I've done a, a video from here before. So go to my channel and check it out. But I love this area. Again, very relaxing. What's interesting is a lot of people, when the weather's good, even when the weather's not that great, they will come to the park after eating and then walk around the park, um, get some quick exercise, some fresh air, then go back to the office or the place of work. Um, yeah, so this is Raytan Park. I think I might pop to another part of the city once I have a wander around this part. What is interesting here is a lot of people will stay out of the sun um, to protect their skin for obvious reasons. They will utilize um, the umbrella to cover themselves and shade themselves from the sun or big brim hats or face cloths just to cover their full face. Sometimes you see people walking like that to protect themselves from the sun. Me, I'm Scottish European. I'm looking for a little bit of sun on my succulent skin. Anyway. Or So I'm still in Retan Park. This area, it's just stunning, it's beautiful. But I'm going to stay with the traditional and go to another area in the city right now, which is uh, again, maybe a little bit more hurt, traditional. Hurt. So I've came down to the Tianmen area, uh, down at the Dasha Lar. As you can see behind me, Tianmen Gate. Uh, this is a more traditional area, it's full of tourists actually. I'll share that with you as I walk around. I won't be here for too long because I've got another idea. Actually, I'm going to go somewhere close by, which is very close by, a nice a little um, uh, relaxing garden area, which I know. Um, but yeah, this is traditional Beijing, where the tourists come. Yeah, stick with me. An interesting day. I'm only halfway through it, mid-afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Just off this main area here, there's a street that runs up this way uh, towards a small sort of garden area which is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to show you that and I'll show you the street as I walk up it. It's uh, again traditional street, reasonably busy. This area is still being built up so you may see some closed stores and so on. It's a new area, still being developed.
just across there is the busy Chimmin area and the Dasha Arbor. When you cross this road and you head over there, um, you head towards a really nice local community garden area. So I'm going to go there um, and settle there. Then I think I will go to another part of the city. When I came here, I came by car, a, a fantastic um, Chinese made electric car, and there's many of them here, very impressive. And that car, Chinese uh, EV car industry is booming. Um, so where I want to go to from here, which I'll share with you in a second, to where I'm going to go next, I think I'll go back in another car, because the metro will be busy, I'm hot, possibly sunburned. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I do love this little local area, but stopped for some noodles, had a beer. Now I'm going to go to my most favourite place in Beijing, a place where I always feel kind of cool and calm, just next to uh, water. I like to be next to the water. So join me when I go there. Then I think I'm going to go somewhere when the sun sets, somewhere that I've never been to before, but I found a kind of thing on an app that said it's a great place to go to see um, a particular building. So I'm going to do that. So I have arrived where I want to, well, kind of where I want to be, but I got here somewhere close to where I want to be. But the car journey up to here is fantastic because what you do is you go along the side of um, Tiananmen Square, then you go across the front of Forbidden City, then up the side of the Forbidden City, and you pass by a lot of nice sort of um, touristy areas and you get to see that bit of Beijing. But I'm here. I've arrived kind of where I want to be. Yeah, almost. I have come up to the drum and bell tower, but this is not where I want to be. I've came here because I know this destination. Where I want to be is close by to here because I do prefer to be beside water. So where I want to be is down beside the lakes, down at Shichahai or um, Bohai Lake. So that's where I'm going to go.
themselves. So I'm down at the lake and in this chaos, I do actually find a lot of calm. I love being beside the water. It always reminds me of my father. Incidentally, my mother, who's 95, had a fall recently, so that's not good. It stays like this, but I'm out in Beijing all day long, but I realise how much I love this city. I love China. I love people, humans. We can do amazing things if we just uh, took the effort to get along. Anyway, this area usually turns into a bit of a night club area with um, bars and stuff and if you come here in the wee hours of the morning then you'll see some good nightlife but that's not where I want to be because I want to go somewhere else in the city yeah it's one of the days um, I want to go somewhere else in the city because I want to see a building um, at night that I've never seen before kind of small thing but that is me I like architecture and some fantastic buildings here in Beijing something that I particularly want to see if you want to see it, come with me. I'm going to jump in another taxi. And incidentally, taxis are not expensive here. I can usually jump about the city for four or five pounds at a time, if that. Anyway, yeah, onwards and upwards, as they say. So I must be mad. I've came from the central area of the city all the way up to the northeast to see this. That is called Wangjing Soho and it was designed by Zaha Hadid who did a few buildings that I'm familiar with. One is in Glasgow. But I want to go and have a look at inside and then I want to have a look at um, this building from an elevation because I is, so believe somewhere around here there is a shopping mall that I can go in and go up and have a look across onto this building. Anyway, it's turning into a day and a half. I hope you're still with me. It might be a long video. I apologise for that. But yeah, I'm going to go have a look. Join me. So the idea of Soho living is that you live in the area, eat, sleep and everything in that area. But it does have um, work offices, restaurants, apartments and so on. So that's what Soho living means basically. A lot of people leaving the area, they obviously don't live here. But I'm going to go find a place so I can get up a little bit higher and look across and see these buildings. Um, because, you know, that's me. I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to architecture. Anyway, um, I think it's this way that I can get up higher. It's just about to start raining. So I found the restaurant, it was on the second floor. It was fantastic. But I couldn't get outside to sit outside and have a look at the Wong Jing um, Soho. So that was good. But did I get the shot? You're absolutely correct, I got the shot. Anyway, this is me in here in Beijing, wishing you all the best. Look after yourself, your family, your community. And as always, peace out. Catch you in the next video.